What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recaps of some of the most recent wars for Invicta. Uh, I got two of them for you. The first one I have is uh, the fine Italian people over at iBrigante. We faced them at least three or four times with the 2.0 family. Um, so we got that one and then as well I got the arranged matchup. Spartans or sorry Reddit Legacy not Spartans Legacy. <laughs> uh, Reddit Legacy the RWCS family. So that is really cool too. Let's just hop right in. I got a ton of replays here. I want to show you first was Ibergante victory 111 and 91 they gave it their best um you know 73 80 with 80 attacks like I said we faced these guys a few times before you know they uh have a, quite a bit better base designs um than they used to at least a few months ago so they're working on stuff right they did clear a bunch of our top nines with their tens but just couldn't get her done down low um as is the case you know they got low level heroes and they even had i think a couple town hall eights in there um so is what it is got a few sexy hits up top uh and then a couple down in the middle here i want to show you as well uh, we're just going to start right in here on number 23, Tritosh, really been ripping it up for Invicta. Mm -mm. So, <clears throat> Tritosh is going to just drop his uh, healers, drop that wizard, start doing that funneling. Queen's going to step up into Arch Tower range in one sec. Good value on the mini and the wizard. Wizard's going to, I think, get three buildings for the one uh, cost of the wizard. Yep, definitely going to get that uh, builder out as well. Queen stepping up just fine. Poison's going to go down to slow the king right down. Because king is going to walk over to her in one second. There he goes. Few smacks on the queen, and she is going to take him down like nothing. That poison just really, really slowing him down. He can't do a thing to that queen. Does not have to use a spell. Does not have to use an ability. So just perfect on that. Down goes the king. Down goes the storage, and she's going to continue her way along. In comes the hog to get the lure of the clan castle out. So the clan castle is going to come on out. It is a Valkyrie, a couple Valkyries, a couple Wizards, and a Loon. So I see a little bit uh, different combinations of CC. Uh, one thing I'm going to mention, that poison does go down nice and early, and the queen locks onto one of the Valks right away. You still need to be insanely careful when Valkyries come out of the CC and are coming at your queen because they can do serious damage, especially if there's three of them. Even a poison might not be enough to save your queen if she's kind of getting lowest on health anyways you may have to burn an ability just like the pekka but just something to keep in mind guys uh queen walk is going to continue on going splendidly so already taking out the army camp for the funnel via that one wizard and i thought that was kind of interesting because i'm very surprised that from this side of the army camp to that builder's hut the valks opted to go for the wall instead maybe i just don't understand valk to wall ai as much as some of these guys like tritosh do but anyhow i thought that was a ballsy move but the valks beat their way in king is in behind heal spell goes down I'm gonna take care of all of that trigger that double giant bomb in the core and in come the hogs from three o'clock they're gonna support that queen over there who still has all the healers just walked out of that rage finishing that stuff up second heal spell goes down gonna get a little double duty action as the hogs pincer in from the three o'clock and the valks and king are still working through that core like bosses <clears throat> hogs make their way through the cannon then next through the expo and are going to continue on there's really only four defenses to go that wizard even takes out that archer tower with his last surviving hit in come the hog is going to finish this base off no problem whatsoever hits that ability on the queen but doesn't even need to definitely a tree in the bag for tritosh sexy time All right, it was number 20, good old Val. Val's been really, really tearing it up since he came up to Invicta, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, really impressed with this guy. Goes ahead and brings just a cold blood golem with 12 Valks and 17 Hogs. Like just so simple, two jump, two heal. Um, knows how he's going to work through this base. Starts creating that funnel, drops that minion for that free building on the outside over there. Look at this wizard just doing work one wizard without even a tank gets four buildings for the you know so uh one building per troop space which is an absolutely fantastic trade so this huge huge gaps now made for the funnel on this side giant's gonna go in with a couple hogs quickly take down that tesla get pretty good value there too so uh, what i like just overall about this oh i thought he took down the tesla Maybe it wasn't quite enough. I think he needed one more hog on that. Would have got the Tesla, but no big deal. Golem goes in. Funnel, like I said, it's already created. Kind of interested to see. Hmm. Very, very strange uh, on that giant and hog little combination. Um, I don't know if he's trying to get the lure out maybe for the clan castle. That must have been what he was doing there. And then the Tesla surprised him. So I'm thinking this was a fresh hit. Uh, I probably should have checked that, but 
all the Valks are now in. Jump spell goes down, and a Hound comes out of the CC. Absolutely perfect. That's why I don't like Hounds and CCs anymore, because Valks are so predominant, and they don't do a thing to the Valks, right? They're not even coming. That Loon, that's the only thing that can do damage to the Valks, is stuck on the Golem. There's a little bit of damage there, but the Golem did his job. Valks do their job. All the bombs are getting taken down, and he's starting to sprinkle in the Hogs coming in from 9 o'clock. <clears throat> Just a few in there, a few in there. Valks are going to continue to work their way through this core. Heal spell is down, helping them out, just working through. So see this, like, just <laughs> Hound is absolutely doing absolutely nothing. Queen's working her way around the base and didn't really want her to walk, but it kind of worked out um, when that happens because she's just doing cleanup the whole time, right? She is about to go down from that expo, unfortunately, because everything got out of range of it. Love how nothing managed to take that expo down as it goes by, but all the hogs are now coming in there's a bunch of valkyries still alive just a little bit of cleanup on the outside to do here and it's a treat in the bag absolutely beautiful right jump up the chains here i have 13 oh yes chat going in chat's been a monster for us up at the town hall 10 level Brings one freeze, one heal, two rages, and a jump spell. So only the one jump's kind of interesting. With that many Valks, um, you really want to try and let them into as much of the base as you can. However, what chat recognizes here is going in with this little kind of queen walk. You're going to clear all this trash out, and then I believe just drop the jump spell right over that intersection. The only way for them to go is right on top of that Inferno. The queen's even going to suck them right in here, and they're going to get into this town hall compartment and take out number two Inferno. He's got 18 Valks then from that point on that are going to stand under heal and just rip through these lego walls like absolutely nothing so queen little charge here is going absolutely perfect queen walk whatever you want to call it she's just clearing this area out for the valks <clears throat> just going to continue her way along the path take out a few defenses and any second swear is going to drop this jump spell and send in the rest of his units anytime just give this a little times two here while the queen does her thing a little bit of an earthquake down too to soften up that stuff. So in goes the golem, <clears throat> finishes off the funnel, and here comes the Valk Parade. Just boom, 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 double, you know, the, the two-finger Valks. I like that. Free spell immediately. I probably would have used a free spell on the back end, Inferno, but whatever. No big deal, right? As you can see, all those a bunch of those Valks, at least not all of them, got sucked right in. Down goes the uh, Inferno. Down goes that Town Hall, right? Just all these Valks spread out on the base now. Healers. Now that the Queen's met up with these Valks, the healers reroute onto the Valks, keep them alive. Again, Hound in the CC just doing absolutely nothing to the Valkyries. You really, really, especially at Town Hall 10 level, guys, Max Valks are just a killer. You, your CC comp has to, has to be anti-Valk. I mean, yeah, you want diversity, but you really need something that's going to do damage to Valks if the CC is left unattended. Uh, but right now, you know, the queen's just following the hound, hound around. A couple of uh, cleanup minis on the outside. Slowly, this base is just getting taken down bit by bit. Uh, the hound is about to burst. A bit of a scary moment here. So, I believe lose. Yeah, see that balloon drop really hurt the rest of his Valks. So, because the balloon did that, the queen just has to beast mode it up, hits that ability, just going to take out these few buildings, barely get through the wall, and barely take out that last trash building here just in time. It's a tree in the bag for chat. Excellence. And check out this beastly attack. Both of these were Town Hall 11 bullies, so nothing too crazy, but nice attack. Gents. And this is Team Unique. My buddy going in on this beast of a Town Hall 11. So you're going to watch this Queen Walk. Um, ends up dropping that giant and the wizard, just take out that army camp. Wants to make sure, as soon as this whiz tower goes down, that the queen follows down towards 6 o'clock. Everything's going to work out absolutely as he wants to. Rage spell goes down, good timing on that. She doesn't even look at the wizard tower, so that's perfect. Going to continue to move around this 6 o'clock location. Really just like hollows out the whole outer section of this um you know, five o'clock through to the four o'clock, or sorry, seven o'clock through to the four o'clock location. The whole compartment's basically taken care of. Queen's gonna continue her way, go get that mortar. And what he's done now, double jump and double rage here, right? So the jump spell number one over this little intersection is gonna send everything up into into this compartment, especially once this queen takes out a little bit more of this stuff. There's nowhere for these Valks or heroes 
like warden to go other than raid at the core they're going to get the eagle they're going to get the town hall take care of the defensive warden pretty much everything here right like the i like the mini and then the immediate hog to make sure he gets the lure out so here it comes another lava hound on the cc so the queen's gonna get locked up on that very very soon really nice she, she can take down this cannon raid spell goes down perfect timing on that gonna rip through that balloon the only critique i would have had is right now i would have dropped a wizard right beside it but early poison right taking care of that balloon does get over to the queen just in time and unfortunately the eagle locks onto her so she starts taking damage from that she's still in the rage though so absolutely perfect and then come the heroes and valks like i said that one jump spell leads everything right into this one compartment everything's gonna get sucked in on this queen gonna have another jump spell already right over top of the core letting everything into that next inferno tower valkyries under that rage are just melting this core like nothing just boom 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 everything is just disappearing instantly i absolutely love it healers even now are in on the valks as well under the raids, this base from this point does not stand a chance. He's got way too much stuff in there. The king hasn't even hit the ability. I would have hit it by now, but he hits it any second now. I know he doesn't miss it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. King ability. Go. There it goes. Hits the king ability. Uh, does lose a few valves on the outside here to... Um, to Strang, but no big deal. Has a bunch more coming in with the Queen now on the outside. Healers on them even. There's basically one compartment of stuff to go. This base is definitely Dunsky's. Beautiful attack unique. Just absolutely sexy. That, my friends, is Tree Stars in the bag for TU. Nice job, my friend. Damn. That was a hit. All right, so... Hi, Brigante. Always a pleasure to match up with you guys. You're getting better each time we see you. So uh, good effort overall. Uh, unfortunately, things did not go in your favor. Just got to do a little bit of work on the bottom. It's always going to be the struggle of uh, clans that have sort of a mixed match. You know, you mix some Town Hall 8s in there, and it's going to be a bit of a struggle at the bottom. But anyhow, collect those, and then we are going to move on here and check out Reddit Legacy. Yeah, that is a green stripe there, actually. I think we kind of caught um, RL on a bit of an off day, right? Six-star victory for Invicta, so it wasn't really close. Um, but overall, Legacy did pretty good. Missed a few of the nines, four, five, six of the nines all day. So that ended up being the, the big difference in the score, right? Six stars, six stars. Um, so check out the guys here. Nothing too, too crazy up top. We do have Dan hitting. Is this one I want to finish on? Uh, I had 12. Yeah, that was a bully attack. That's what I thought. Uh, so let's just kind of jump right down. I got number 30 on the list, right? Uh, was a good war overall. Victa cleared the nines and had lots of shots at three stars up top. But uh, we will get there when we get there. Just hang on a sec because we're going to check out Eris on number 30. Uh, what I love about Eris is she's just a beast like absolutely just wrecks bases with level 15 and 18 heroes you know that is not an easy thing to do i know i've talked about this before but just absolute props eris just your absolute monster just rip through these bases with these very low level heroes now granted i mean you're, you're against you know newer town hall nines with town hall eight defenses and such but still not an easy thing to do guys please do not get me wrong when uh, when i say that so cold blooded golem is in nice test wall breaker is a-okay -okay. let's send in the rest open up that wall <clears throat> queen goes down king's about to go down behind it and the valk parade goes in very very large compartment here right gonna let everything into the queen chamber only needs one jump spell is just gonna open up the queen chamber there it goes valks are working their way into the base king in nice and slow right you do not want that king tanking any defenses right when you have a low level king you want to prolong them as long as you possibly possibly can you want them right in the core of that base on defenses when you hit that ability and that's end up kind of ends up what happens here even though the king is now standing on a wall but the queen is chasing this lava hound once again guys not a huge fan of these Lava Hounds because, look, didn't touch these Valks, and the Valks are getting huge value. They're already taking down the defensive queen, taking down some walls, standing on her heels, gets double value on the Hogs and the Valkyries under the one heel spell there. Just going to shred through the rest of these defenses. This is a very deadly compartment with a couple Wizard Towers and three Teslas, so that poses... Uh, that could be a bit of an issue at this point, but just has way too many Hogs. Drops the heal spells, take care of those skeletons. Uh, Hogs are slowly starting to pit her out, but the queen steps up just in time and helps them out. Finish off that Tesla, finish off that wizard tower. This base is definitely done for. Little troll Tesla in the corner, can't complain though. That is a tree star in the bag for Eris. Nice job. Beautiful. 
27. Presidential Bacon Nagana. A uh, very newer member to Invicta as well. Got a lot, a lot of new faces in Invicta. Just absolutely awesome. Swarm is just pumping out some quality, quality players for us. Um, so Earthquake spell goes down. Very perfect Earthquake. Gets that one little chunk of corner there. So you can create a little tiny funnel here. Let everything into this little oddly shaped compartment. And then the huge, like, you know, another 40% of the base is now open because of that one Earthquake. So three heal spells with 12 Valkyries, right? Only brings the one Golem. Gets the funnel going on the side. Drops the Valkyries right here, and the only thing to lock onto is that Elixir Storage. Uses it perfectly as the breadcrumb. Valks are now in the base. They're going to work in right towards that defensive queen. Oh, got that little corner too. I just missed. Heal spell goes down. Going to get huge, huge value. The side-by-side -side Expos. The Wizard, um, or sorry, the Tesla farm over here is going to go down just so quickly, right? Valks are starting to pitter out at this point. Um, probably might have wanted to drop the heal on those ones over there, but doesn't really matter. DGB goes down. So in come the Hogs. Few in from uh, nine o'clock there, just gonna start taking all these defenses. It's perfect timing on that because these wizards are already moving into cleanup position. Still, look at all these troops left in the bag. A heal spell, two wizards, uh, seven hogs, which are just getting deployed right now, and already 55% of the base is done for. The whole kill squad's moving in to help these hogs out. Heal spell is gonna go down, take care of them like nothing. They're gonna move through the Tesla, that archer tower, got one more wizard tower, and then another cannon and archer tower over at the three o'clock. But Valks get in there, start doing some tanking. Hogs. Go fly into those spring traps, but there's just too much to go here. Space is done for. Clean up all over the place. Beautiful hit. It's tree in the bag for Niguana. Uh, 22 next. Mozzie, Schizo. Schizo has been just awesome for us as well. A lot of very, very well-planned attacks. So this one uh, brings a queen uh, walk here. Um, really good measurement on all those minis. Just four minis for uh, for four buildings. It's absolutely fantastic. I think he even gets more. So creates that funnel for the queen. Drops that queen down at the kind of five o'clock spot. Queen's going to step up. Take care of some of these defenses. And I believe he's going to yank the CC out to her. <laughs> Look at those minis doing work up there. Another building down. Another building down. Fortunately, loses it there to that arch tower, but gonna get another building out of that minion. Just kind of oh, maybe not there. Defense locks on, but almost, almost loses his queen there. Hits the ability just in time though. Probably a good thing that sweeper was messing with him a little bit. <clears throat> so he's gonna have to drop, um, drop his kill squad here any second. Oh yeah, already in, the, in goes the golem right. There's only one building for him to worry about with the funnel. The queen did all the work with those minions. Wall breakers in, looking good. Gonna send in seven Valkyries and his king now. In comes the Valks, just gonna use that absolute perfect breadcrumb. Jump spell's gonna go down, there it goes. Queen's gonna continue her way around the base and get big percentage points. So absolutely perfect job there. Hound in the CC does absolutely nothing to Valks, guys. So um, just again, something to think about in your CC compositions because a lot of the attacks are just like this where you, you're either gonna yank the CC out to your queen, but you don't have to, then you save the five troop space and you don't have to worry about troubling your queen with the clan castle because you can just basically you know take out your funnel and take out whatever you need to with your queen walk have her go one way and then send in the valks to lure up the cc because they're not going to do anything nothing like these valks are getting huge value king's in there tesla farm's going down he's got hogs sprinkled in all over the base now golemite still in there doing tanking finally the the hound locks on over to the over to the hogs but no big deal. A few more hogs get lost to spring traps. Just needs to worry about these Teslas now, but has just enough hogs in there with the Golemites. They're going to slowly work through that arch tower, slowly work through the cannon. The hero healers jump onto the one hog there and keep it alive through that. So he's got four hogs moving in now. Unfortunately, it stops to heal that Golemite. So I believe the hogs pitter out right on this cannon. Maybe he's got like two that survive. Yeah, two survive, just start working on the town hall. But it's definitely clean up time at this point. It's just a time issue time at this point. Queen's going to finish things off like a boss. Down goes the storage. Down goes the storage. GG, tree in the bag for Schizo. Beautiful. Right. Um, oh, yeah, 21. Wait. What? This is written down wrong here. I have the right person, just not the right number, apparently. There it is. 14 I wanted to show. Why did I write 21? Hmm, weird. 
So Derp, been an absolute beast for us lately. You know, six pack champ, one of the one of these Invicta guys that just, you know, he's a veteran Invicta guy. You know, Derp does a lot for the clan as well, outside of just being a monster with these six star or six packs all over the place. Goes ahead and drops that minion, gets that funnel going, down goes the healers. Just gonna walk this queen down and around, get big, big value from the basically three o'clock all the way up to twelve o'clock. Minion's gonna get really good value here too, because the minions, oh no, I guess it's gonna go and get taken out by the air defense, but still two buildings for one mini. That's absolutely perfect. Something else to think about in your base designs. Drops the hog on the mortar too. I like that. One for one trade basically. Just beautiful, beautiful job. Drops a rage spell, just perfect moment. Gonna rip through the rest of this stuff. About to step up into the queen chamber range, which is the key moment to this raid. Hog moves in, lures out the CC. So look at that early, early poison. That's what I'm talking about. Three Valkyries and a wizard. That is scary, because watch this. Oh, luckily he hit the ability because if those Valks, keep in mind, like how quickly they attack buildings, that's how quickly they attack your queen. So if your queen is even sort of low health and Valks get near her, you better rage it up or you're going to lose your queen. Just as a side note, especially three of them. Anyhow, perfect execution by Derpidu here. Uh, cold blooded golems going in right on top of the mortar which is right beside that uh, tesla just drops the wizards funnel is created taking out the tesla down goes the tesla in comes the wall breakers gonna open up this wall boom 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 how oh, the wall break fail <laughs> the wizard tower need to drop them one space higher hilarious i missed that when i first watched the attack but he brought valkyrie so who cares because once your funnel is created valks are just going right to that wall shred through it jump spell goes down heal spell goes down gonna just continue to get great value out of this stuff like you look at what's left of these compartments queen is hollowed out pretty much all the way from just past three o'clock all the way you know back to 11 o'clock she's going to continue working her way around the base hogs are now in going to get good value right uh, valk was doing tanking for the hogs just while they take down that expo realizes he's gonna need one more in there just to make sure it goes down but he's got hogs now in these very very shallow long uh, compartments not a lot of danger definitely no danger of double giant bombs and probably no single bombs and not even really good spots for spring traps there so knows his hogs are completely safe really there's an archer tower left a cannon up here and that's about it for this base Valks get through the wall, down goes the cannon, and down goes the sweeper, and that's tree in the bag for Derp. Nice job, buddy. derp do. doo Alright, one more to show you here, and we're going to call it a day. <clears throat> There's no 11 versus 11 or 10 versus 10 in this war, so that is a little unfortunate, but we do have Ryan the Great, who always is one of these bottom beasts who steps up with these uh, you know level 20 heroes and just gets their top town hall nines taken care of i absolutely love it so giant goes in minis go in getting this funnel created queen goes down with the healers on it right like the giant and three wizard that is a hefty investment but to really really get your funnel down that's sometimes what you got to do so nothing's even touched this queen until she's get taken care of this storage she's going to step up take care of all of this business around the three o'clock area wall breakers go in open up that wall she's going to take out i believe the mortar and then the uh builder's hut and then go up and around and back into this base look at that earthquake spell now basically leaving a queen access to three air defense um keep in mind i believe he's got two lava hounds here and 17 balloons so you might ask you're like well how is he going to take care of the queen well this is going to be very interesting maybe he's got a golem actually so i think he gets two air defense here and then jumps the kill squad over and gets a third air defense um, we're going to see how this plays out. This is a very, very long attack, actually. This must have been real close on time. So here comes... No, I did bring two Lava Hounds. So here's my thing. The queen is not dead. And this king... This is ballsy. Look at this. Rages up the king. Locks onto the queen. Luckily, not the golem. And just in time, gets the queen there. Just absolute genius. So really, really nice job on that, Ryan. Oh, hang on a second here. Anyhow, sorry. Um, so the Lava Hounds go in, right? Uh, just perfect, perfect planning for this attack because um, that was such a ballsy move. Just a king and his wall breaker swaps out the queen. Got a bazillion balloons. Still two more in the bag for cleanup. Just wants to get these defensive taken care of and he can probably end up dropping. Uh, drops the two distraction loons for those wizard towers. Doesn't drop the top one fast enough, but no big deal, right? Has the balloons in there working on the wizard towers already. Down go the wizard towers and this base is Dunsky. 
just a really really good read of this uh on this base very very difficult attack to execute mind you um but ryan just a monster buddy look at all those balloons balloons pops everywhere sexy always love seeing uh very creative air attacks like that like, look at that look at that comp like just unbelievable no golem no nothing let's just swap a level 21 king raiding right through lava walls and a bunch of buildings and a clan castle <laughs> just just unbelievable mind-blowing all right so really nice war uh victor performed very very well you know very they had no town hall 11s by the way uh, neither did we. It was an arranged matchup, like I said. It was just 10s versus 10s. Um, neither side, I don't believe. That was a bully. We already confirmed that. And that is a Town Hall 9, so that was a bully as well. Um, so, yeah, no 10 versus 10 action. It is unfortunate, but Reddit Legacy, uh, appreciate the matchup, guys. Um, no, we kind of caught you on an off day. I'm sure uh, sure you would have liked a little bit better performance, but uh, a great uh, great war nonetheless. Love, uh, love these fair play matchups with just good, good, fun competition. So, uh, I think going to wrap it up here, guys. Did quite a few videos today, so I'm pretty burnt out, but uh, that'll do it here for Wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm up.